Hey guys, so today is surgery day. I'm like rushing because um, they just called me and said that um, I have an early appointment, which is one o'clock, so I'm like rushing. Um, I'm picking up my son's father. He's He'll be taking me today. Um, so, yeah, and I woke up crazy this morning. I had like a virus where I was throwing up, um, but I have to let them know that, and um, yeah. I'm just happy it's a little earlier, I can get um, things done, and yeah, I will see you guys in the hospital. Okay. Hey guys, so, this video is about to be extremely raw as they come. I am home. Um, I'm sorry I didn't um, a video in the hospital. Um, everything went so fast, um, but I'm home, surgery is over, and I am so thankful, I am so sore, extremely sore, I have about five incisions, I'm surprised, I thought I was going to have only two, I'm going to have to put you guys in, my son is in the back sleeping. But um, I thought I was gonna have only two. And um, no. no, it's fine. I am a little drugged up, honestly. Um, it's like an oxy, so I'm a little drugged up. Um, and they said my next oxy should be 12.30 p.m. It's now 11.40. Um, just got home. So, just a little doped up. Um, sorry, you guys, I look a mess. But, um, it's what it is. Fresh out the hospital. Um, it's what it is. So, surgery went well. Reminded me a lot of when I got to sleep. A lot. When I got to sleep. <clears throat> My voice is a little hoarse. I think it's from the breathing tube. Um, but I literally could just sleep. Sleep all day. All day. Um, drank a lot of water. In the hospital. Oh my gosh. Not, my mouth is still a little dry. But not being able to drink or eat from 11 the night before to like 4 in the afternoon today it was hell my mouth was so dry my mouth was so dry and oh my god I was like gargling so much so much I was gargling what else happened? Um, it was so sucky because I woke up this morning with some type of viral thing with um, vomiting and diarrhea. It was horrible. Um, but I'm fine now. Um, totally fine now. Don't feel any symptoms of that anymore. Um, but I'm going to pull through this and I have to be very careful because, you know, you guys, I developed a hernia from straining. So I have to be very careful and um, lifting, I mean, going to the bathroom. So um, I took a week out of work, but they suggested I take two. So that's just another added week on, which is fine with me. Totally fine with me. Being home is fine. Um, other than that, um, I'm just, I'm sorry you guys, I'm so dopey. Mm, so dopey. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm, so, so. It was good. It was good. My first meal was some jello in the hospital, some sugar free jello. Lots of water. Just give me water. It was like wine. Like, keep them coming. Keep them coming. So, um, I got home. Uh, my son's dad helped me in. He was such a sweetheart through this entire process. I just thank God for him. Like, I thank God. Oh, that's my son's feet. 
but um yes i thank god for him and him being there all day and just making sure i was okay i got my medication after he left the hospital and he was a lifesaver it just so happened that none of my family couldn't have been there today so it's okay i had him so i'm very grateful for that um yeah, and I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. I made it. I made it out of surgery. Sorry for my background. My son is sleeping. I'm just, I'm just a mess. Just came in. Nightgown's halfway falling off of me. But look at that collarbone, though. <laughs> well, so. I made it. I wish I could show you guys my incision. Um, could I show you guys? Um, let's see. There's one. There's one. It's, it's, it's a lot more, but personal spots. You guys know how it is. Um, but yes, that's one. Excuse me, I don't have one in bra, so excuse me. It's okay, I'm very real with you guys. Um, oh my god, I don't know how my legs. Whew. Yeah, so, um, I will talk to you guys, um, maybe in about a week or so. Just to see if I'm, like, healed and don't have any more pain. I'm gonna sleep sitting up, I'm gonna prop all my pillows up and everything like that. And I'm gonna go to sleep. I bought a new neck pillow. Oh my god, neck pillows are life. Hurt. Oh, I'm dropping things. New neck pillow. Oh, I love it so much. It was so cute. Oh, everything. Five below, you guys. Five below. Neck pillows are life. So, yes, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm home safe. Thank God. Gotta thank the Lord above. He always pulls me through. You know what? Let me let me stop talking because I will start crying here. And I know you guys don't want to see me cry again like my one week post hop video from VSG. Um but um oh speaking of VSG, when I went on that table today, and those who have the VSG know how narrow that table is. And Last time I went on that table, I was 130 pounds heavier. So going on that uh, bed thing that they had, the table thing, bed thing, whatever it's called, was hell when I was still 130 pounds heavier. Today, it was just like a breeze, because I'm now 130 pounds down. So it was a breeze. Um, I asked them not to let me know when they were putting me to sleep. I don't want to know. So, um... Yeah, so I don't even know when I fall asleep. I don't even know when I fall asleep. You don't remember nothing. That's how I always tell my friends that when they ask me, like, oh, I'm scared. They tell me, like, oh, I'm scared to do it. You know, like anesthesia and everything like that. Don't be scared because you don't know anything. Just go in there, say your prayers, and just do it. Before you know it, you're done. You're, you're done. So don't be scared. I knew nothing. I don't remember nothing. I remember going in the OR. I remember um, getting, on, getting on the bed. I remember them saying, um, just, did they do a little, did they say just a little oxygen? I can't remember. But that just a little oxygen is the good stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, and that IV was like burning. It was like so many things they were putting. When they clean it with the saline, that's when it burns the most. But I am so over it now. The surgery that I am interested in, I can't lie, is skin removal. But that's no time soon. No time soon. But I'm like feeling my stomach on where the hernia is. <clears throat> and it's like gone. It's super soft. But okay guys, my hands are like trembling. I still have the oxy in me, remember. So um, I will talk to you guys soon in a better video where I'm all well and okay and everything like that. 
and I will see you guys soon and ask me any questions or anything like that. Oh, and thank you to my new subscribers. I have a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to the MUA Free family. I'm very open about my life. And um, you can ask me any questions. Um, this is a negative free uh, zone. So um, thank you, you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah.